the Church of Saint Germain and the Dovecote in Merville. The old tower, a remnant of the medieval castle, destroyed in the 15th century. Merville and the Dovecote are the last vestiges of the village in the Middle Ages. Stones from the Caen quarries were widely used. The church, dedicated to Saint Germain of Auxerre, dates from the 12th century. The original parts remaining from this era are typical of the Norman Romanesque style. On the two sides of the nave, the medallions under the cornice and the walls where the stones are laid like herring bones. The thick plaster layers, dating from the 19th century, have recently been removed to show the original structure of the walls. The belfry from the 18th century, which holds two bells, the oldest of which was cast in 1791, tops the west gable. This is one of the oldest church bells in Calvados. The second bell was inaugurated in 1923 by Monsieur Gaston Legris and Madame René Cornet and bears the name of Charlotte Marina. In the 15th century, major modifications were made after the damage caused by the destruction of the neighboring castle. Two mass lavabos and several original windows date from this period. The cross attached to the northern wall of the nave used to belong to the triumphal arch which separated the nave from the choir, which was the holiest place reserved for the clergy. At the bottom of this cross you can see a snake biting a fruit, which is a reference to the original sin of Adam and Eve, which announces symbolically the redemption. Behind the main altar, a painting belonging to the altarpiece shows Saint Germain and Saint Lou uh, leaving for England in 429. This is where they met uh, Saint Genevieve from Paris, who became the patron saint of the city. The modern period has also left its mark. The baptismal font in pink marble dates from the 20th century, and the Stations of the Cross were offered by different families from Merville. Uh, more recently, thanks to a public subscription launched in 2009, work has been done which has done a lot to improve the building. According to customs in Normandy, only Holbeck fief lords, that is, those that gave a knight to the king, were allowed to possess dovecots. The inside was made up of coops, or called boulins, of which there are 1,180. Each coop or recess was integrated into the wall and served as a nest or a couple of pigeons. The solid stone in the middle of the dovecot served to hold a steel pole which was the access for a single or double turning staircase used to access the pigeon nests for cleaning or collecting eggs and the young pigeons. Why were pigeons so sought after? One for the delicate meat which was much appreciated and for the droppings used to manure the fields. Until the 19th century this was the best available fertilizer. More than 40,000 dovecots are estimated to have existed in France in the 18th century. The pigeons caused much damage to crops, especially in the planting and harvesting seasons. Peasants were not allowed to hunt them and they were severely punished when they did. After the revolution and the abolition of privileges, all classes of the population were allowed to keep pigeons. The pigeons, formerly reserved for nobility only, became fair game for everybody.